A lot of people tell me, hey Neil, I can see Ubersuggest has some tons of really cool data and interesting features to grow my website and traffic, but how do I use it? How do I get the most out of it so I can get more traffic, create more content, rank higher on Google? Hey everyone, I'm Neil Patel, and today I'm gonna give you the definitive guide to Ubersuggest for SEO and content marketing. Now, before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel. That way, as we use more content like this, you'll get notified. And if you're on YouTube, click the alert notification. So let's start off top to bottom. The first feature within Uber Suggest that I want to go over is the keyword overview section. So the keyword overview section gives you data on any keyword that you're looking for information on. The reason I love this is you can put in a keyword, it'll tell you the volume, the CPC, the SEO difficulty, the paid difficulty. It even shows you how many links you need to roughly rank in the top 10. Here's the cool part. What's unique about Ubersuggest is it shows you how many people are searching for that keyword on a mobile device versus desktop device. It even tells you how many people click on the SEO results versus paid results versus not clicking at all. It even tells you the age demographic information on what's the age range of the people that are searching for this query. That's why I love the keyword overview. Now, if you dive into the keyword ideas report, this will give you a laundry list of suggestions related to all the terms that you're researching. So if you type in marketing, it'll give you all the other terms related to marketing. It'll do it based off of related keywords, Google suggests, comparisons, prepositions, the list goes on and on. It even tells you all the questions that people are searching related to that keyword that you enter. It tells you how difficult those keywords are to rank for, who's ranking from on the right side, how many links they have, how many social shares they have. It tells you everything you know to see if you can rank for that keyword or it's gonna be hard or easy. Now the next report that I love, and this one's not used enough by people, but I would recommend you start spending more time here. If you start typing in specific keywords, the content ideas report will tell you all the popular blog posts that are popular based on that topic. And it doesn't just break it down on social shares, it breaks down by social shares, backlinks, and estimated traffic. And when you go down and click on the backlinks, or the estimated traffic, it shows you all the keywords that that blog post ranks for, the position, the term, and even for the backlinks, when you click down on to view all, it'll show you every single site and the anchor text that's linking to the article. This will help you create content that's similar to them, and you wanna create better content using Brian Dean's skyscraper technique, like, you know, if someone has a 10-story building, someone in Dubai may be like, we're gonna create a 100-story building, and someone in China may be like, we're gonna create a 200-story building. It's never ending, that's a skyscraper technique, you're outdoing other people. But the content ideas report will show you what's popular and just outdo them, create something that's 10 times better. Now, the next section of Ubersuggest is the traffic analyzer. You can put in any domain name like neilpatel.com and it'll show you the traffic that that site's getting from Google over time. Now, what's interesting about this report is not only does it show you the traffic over time, it shows you how many keywords that site ranks for over time as well. Just because the site ranks for a lot of keywords, doesn't mean it gets a lot of traffic. Some keywords don't get much traffic. Other keywords get tons of traffic. And that's what you can see in this traffic analyzer overview report. Now, if you scroll down, you can click to top pages. Top pages will show you any of the top pages on any given domain name. You can click to see the keywords that someone ranks for for each of those pages, right? Because it gives you estimated visits. And when you click the view all, you'll see all the keywords. Same goes for the backlinks. You can see all the backlinks and the keywords that any given page ranks for, and you can keep going to next page, to next page, and see all the pages on any given domain name. There's also the keywords report in the traffic analyzer. If you put in a domain name, it'll show you all the keywords that a URL ranks for. And this is just a full list of keywords sorted by popularity. And this is useful because now you know what a site is targeting. Now, the next area of Uber suggests is a site audit report. You can put it in a URL and it'll tell you all the SEO issues of the site. Now here's my favorite part about the site audit report. It breaks down in the recommendations area based on errors and recommendations, what you should focus on. It puts the stuff at the top that will have the highest impact and is the easiest to implement. And the stuff at the bottom typically is harder to implement and has a lower impact. So you wanna do all the stuff at the top first. Now the last section of Uber suggests is a backlink report. Put in the domain name, it'll show you the backlink growth over time. Is a site growing in backlinks or is it decreasing? It even shows you the new and lost links on a daily basis. Heck, it'll even tell you each of the links 
for that page or that whole domain. Now, the very, very last section of Uber suggests that not a lot of people talk about is the dashboard. The dashboard allows you to add a project. This allows you to track your SEO progress. Is your traffic going up? Is it going down? It even tracks your rankings on a daily basis and tells you, are your rankings going up or down? And it sends you a report. It even crawls your website for SEO errors on a weekly basis and tells you what you need to fix. And it even looks at your competition and tells you if you're doing better than them or worse than them. So that's it to Uber Suggest. If you use all those features, you're going to be better off. You're going to get more search traffic because it'll guide you throughout your journey and tell you what you need to fix and what you're doing fine on. If you need help with your SEO, check out my ad agency, Neil Patel Digital. If you enjoy the video, make sure you like it, comment below, share it, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.